This is a quick preview of Blender Boolean Bevel add-on. This is an add-on wrapper for geometry node setup, which makes non-destructive bevels on Booleans. Let's start from scratch. I need at least two objects. You can find add on panel in the edit tab. Active object in selection will be Boolean target. You can set starting bevel radius and solver through the panel. Let's hit difference button now. Boolean tool objects automatically change viewport visibility and render visibility and become a child of the Boolean target. On Boolean target, you now have Boolean bevel modifier. Here you can change Boolean type. Also you can change solver. Manifold should be faster. You can change radius, bevel segments, and bevel profile, similar to bevel modifier. When preview mode is toggled, you can see tube geometry used to cut the bevel. You can change its parameters, such as rim resolution and rim density. If you turn off merge offset, you can see intermediate geometry created between bevel and boolean objects. Its amount is set by chamfer offset value. When merge offset is turned on, those vertices are merged into the bevel. Merge offset distance is also adjustable, however best option is to keep them default. So what is the break angle? Let's say you want to boolean subdivide a smooth object and low poly one with sharp edges. Let's apply Boolean in preview mode. You can see that if preview turned off, nothing happened. That is because rim object now has self-intersections. To get rid of them, you can go to debug panel and set some relax iterations for rim. Now boolean works, but corner still looks weird. In this case, I can set break angle value bigger. Angles less than this value will keep sharp. Now geometry is better, but for sharp angles, we can't use transfer shading functionality. You can also refine imperfections on sharp corners with fix sharp corners parameter.
Sometimes there are artifacts near the corners when vertex quantity on the edges doesn't match. In this case, possible workaround is to add an extra sub D to the rim. or tweak edge relax value. For smooth objects, Inherit Normal is better to be turned on. It fixes the shading, especially useful when Merge Offset is turned off. You can also adjust how much bevel normal blends with the initial geometry. This parameter doesn't change the geometry itself. Also there's material panel. By default, materials are inherited from the tool and target objects but it is possible to override material on the bevel only.